Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jade, if you haven't been here before. Today we're doing something a little bit different. So I'm gonna apologize now if the lighting isn't quite as good as you're used to, but I needed the space in this room to be able to clear out my clothes. So today I just threw on my coziest favorite loungewear, put this lovely headband in my hair to keep it out my way, just so we can sort things and I can hopefully feel refreshed as we get through my clothes. So I have way too many clothes and every time I go to sort through them, I end up not getting rid of as many as I need to. So I feel like by sharing this experience with you, maybe it'll make me be a little bit more ruthless and get rid of a few more things. Um, but hopefully you can sympathize with me if I struggle and uh, today we're just going to do all my jumpers because I have a ton of them and I'll make this into a little mini series of different items for each video just so this isn't going on for like three hours. <laughs> so I was watching a closet clear out on YouTube the other day and it really inspired me to properly go through my clothes. So I don't want to ramble too much because we've got so much to get through. So let me grab the first pile. Also, let me apologize if you can hear the background noise. My neighbor is having something done in their garden and I have waited four hours to film this video and the noise isn't stopping, so I'm just gonna have to do it because otherwise I'm gonna run out of time. Um, so the first pile is all my sort of black jumpers. Um, I feel like these are ones I'm less likely to get rid of, but let's see. I'm just gonna hold them up and we will see uh, what I am feeling at the time. Okay, so the first one is this uh, black glittery, it's got silver glitter in it, um, cold shoulder knit. It's quite thin. Um, I've honestly only ever like worn this once. I always feel I like hold on to it because it's glittery and I feel like, oh, what if I want something to like jazz up an outfit a bit, but it's casual and sparkly, but I don't know, I never wear it. Okay, so let's start this off on a good note. This is going to go into my um rehome pile um so yeah this is gonna be like vintage or charity so we're gonna have a vintage or charity pile one side okay the next one is this lovely black and white knit i absolutely adore this from in the style so definitely keeping this um yeah it's just so cozy and i love it and then next we have this lovely black jumper with a roller neck i absolutely adore this it's so warm and cozy and i wear it quite a lot being plain because it's easy to style and it's very very warm so again definitely keeping this one and then next we have this lovely um jumper which i got from madeline it has this lovely lace black collar i don't know how well that shows in the camera but I definitely want to keep this also. So next we have this lovely thin knit. This is from Primark. I wear this to death. You have probably seen me wear it in many of my videos. I love the high neck. It's plain, but it also just has these little gold buttons, which I love just for a little bit of detail in the sleeves. Um, it is getting a little old and tatty now, but I still wear it all the time. So this is another one that will stay. And then finally for black jumpers, we have this one, also a Primark knit, but it has this beautiful um, pearl and silver ball sort of decoration on the collar, which I love. So again, I'm gonna keep this. Okay, moving on to white and cream. These are probably some of my most worn, or at least a few of them. Um, I've been a lot more into whites and creams the last couple of years. Um, so this is one knit. I've actually not had this very long. This is originally by River Island. I got it on Vinted, but it's like a cricket style jumper. Um, so this will be staying because I haven't had it very long. I definitely need to wear it more though. So it's good because a lot of the stuff I forget about because they're at the back of my wardrobe and I don't get it out. Uh, the next one is uh, this one. It is the same as the black one in white. It is in one of my past hauls. I remember putting them both in a haul. Um, I love this. I accidentally snagged the front. So it has like a tiny little like hole in it, which is really disappointing, but I really, really love it. It's like, I know I shouldn't probably keep it because it has the little hole, but I still feel like I'll wear it. Well, I don't know with this one. I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile and I'm gonna have some I will try on and review later and decide and that's where that's going. The next one is this high neck or roll neck um, little thin knit from H&M originally, but you would have seen it if you watched my everything five pounds.com haul. Um, so yeah, this is saying it is a bit see-through. If you've seen the haul, you'll know that, but it's very, very good for layering. So I'm gonna keep it. 
This is the next one. It is a crop jumper, but it's a good length for a crop. I love this, but I have not worn it. Um, it's from H&M. I bought it last summer. You may have seen it in a video. Um, it's part of a cord. I usually keep cords together, but I feel like this is quite a nice standalone piece, so I actually keep them separate on this one. Um, so yeah, it's still got the tag in. I need to wear it. I really like it. I just kind of forgot about it because I think it was near the back of my wardrobe. So obviously that's gone to my keep pile. Um, this is another one. I have worn this once now. This was in, I think, my last haul of 2022. Another beautiful H&M jumper in this cream color with this pearl decoration around the collar. I absolutely adore this, so that's not going anywhere. And then finally, I have this mock net white sweater. This is actually from Primark, but I think it looks really, really similar to the And Other Stories ones. I do really want to upgrade and get really better quality knits when half of my stuff is Primark, but I'm sort of waiting for my size to work out where my weight's going to sit before I spend a lot of money on knitwear. But this is something I wear all the time, so again, it's going to stay. Okay, so at the end of doing all my black and white knit, we have one going and we have one that I'm not sure about and I'm keeping the rest. Um, these are the ones I probably wear the most, so that's not really a surprise. Um, I could be a little bit harsher, but I genuinely do love all those pieces. Um, so let's move on to other colours and see if we can clear out any more. Just let me apologise by the way that I do have a very squeaky floor in this room as well, so there's probably so many noise distractions, but I hope you're enjoying seeing what my uh, jumpers are like. I love being nosy at other people's closets, so hopefully people are enjoying this too. So I'm going to move on to stuff that is kind of grey. I used to wear a lot of grey, but I do feel I don't tend to pick it out of my wardrobe so much anymore. So I feel this is a good place to really try and slim down, so let's see. Okay, so this is the first one, which is, it's kind of grey, but it's got a slight brown tint to it as well, but I'd say it's more grey. It's got this beautiful, like, high neck with a frill. I love this, but I think it might be a little bit small on me now. I'm not sure. It's very thin, which I really like. I don't have a lot of thin knits, and I do think they're very useful um, for layering and just for, like, spring when you need that little bit extra, so... I'm not sure. I think this is going to go in the maybe pile so I can try it because I'm just not sure how it fits on me anymore. It's a UK 10. I'm really a 12 these days. This basic Primark knit is next. It's very casual. It's got nothing special about it, but I do think with some jewelry and stuff, you can really um, pair this with things to make it look quite nice. I wear this quite a lot out of my greys, so I feel like, so I keep a grey jumper in my wardrobe. This one's definitely going to stay because I feel like this I get the most wear out of. Okay, this is another Primark knit. I used to wear the hell out of this. Um, it has this beautiful, like, shimmery collar detail. It's a little bit shoddily made, I'm not gonna lie. Like, they're not completely straight. It's always been like that. But I still think it makes it really pretty. But I just haven't been reaching for this for so long that I do feel that it's probably time I give it a new home. It says... It's a Primark small, but it also says it's UK 6 to 8. Um, I definitely wore this when I was a size 10, but I do think now as a 12, it would be a very snug fit. So I think it's time this one got rehomed. And this is the next one. This is something I bought not too long ago from Matalan. It's very plain, but it's very soft, and I love this little um, cuff detail where it cinches in. I'm going to be keeping this because it's really good for work for me because obviously I need some sort of like plain smartish clothes. Um, so this is what it is for me. It is a workwear item um, so it has to stay for that reason for now but it, I probably wouldn't keep it otherwise. Next we have this sweater. You probably saw this in a haul if you've seen all my past hauls. This is from Sainsbury's. I just loved the daisy pattern. Um, I don't reach this as much as I thought I would but I definitely get quite a good lot of wear out of it. Um, it's actually quite thin, so I haven't really been wearing it as much since it got colder, but I feel like it will still be a really nice, cozy sweater for the spring, so I'm going to keep this. Okay, so this is the next one. I put it in with the greys because it's mainly grey, but it does have a really nice pink collar and this pink flamingo outline. I've always adored this jumper. I've had it for years, honestly. I don't even know. <laughs> almost 10 years maybe, like 8 to 10 years I would guess, I don't know. Um, it's by Fern Cotton when she used to have a clothing range. 
Um, it's very well worn, it's bobbling a little bit and I am really really torn on this because it is a tiny bit tight on me now because it should be a lot looser fitting but it just brings back so many memories because of how much I wanted it back in the day. Oh I don't know, like I really, I really really wanted it back in the day and so it's just really hard to let go. It's gonna go in the maybe pile. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna keep it or get rid of it yet. I'm gonna try it and see how I'm feeling. I actually have like a bag of clothes where some of my favorites are in it and then they're like stored away and then every so often I get it out and I look at it again and I'm like, genuinely, if I fit into this again, like if I lose a tiny bit of weight and I fit into it again, do I still love it as much? And sometimes I can just look at it and think I haven't missed these being in my wardrobe and I can get rid of more things. So it may end up going in there or something, but we will see. And the final jumper is this beautiful grey sparkly crop jumper. I kind of want to keep it because I'm getting rid of the other sparkly jumper from earlier, but it is a size 8. It's meant to be sort of like a nice oversize. I used to always wear it with my leather trousers when I was skinnier, but I feel like I never reach for it because it's that little bit small on me now. I can wear it, but it just doesn't have the right shape and I feel like someone else could get a lot of love out of this. It's, I've only ever worn it a couple of times, so I think this will go on my vintage. Okay, so now we have my pearl, which is kind of like browns, beiges, like yellow. I don't have anything bright yellow, but that kind of color. Um, let's start with this one. It is another Primark mock neck sweater. It's the same type as the white one. This actually sells the tag in it, which is really bad, but I haven't had it that long, and I know I will get a lot of wear out of this, so it's 100% on my keep list. Next is this sort of mustard color, really soft, I don't know what you call it, it's like, it wears really soft, it almost feels velvety. You know what kind of jumpers I'm talking about? If you know what they're called, like, write me in the description, I can't think, but they were really big at one point, and you still see them around, I don't know. This is a new look small. It definitely still fits me, but it definitely fit me better when I was a bit skinnier. I'm really torn with this. It's so soft and so nice, but I don't feel I go for this color really that much anymore. Oh, I don't know. I, I think it's another for the maybe pile. I will try it and see how I feel. Okay, next is this sweater. You definitely would have seen me wear this in hauls. I think I wore it for my Halloween one because this just gives me such autumn vibes. I love it. Um, so yeah, this is definitely staying. It's not the most flattering jumper, but I just love the colour. There was something about the design when I bought it and I have to stick with my gut. I love it. Okay, next is this beautiful brown sweater from Sainsbury's. Again, quite a new one that you may have seen in a video. I don't love the neckline, but overall it's so soft and cosy, so definitely staying. Next is this thin knit um, beige sort of colour high neck from Dorothy Perkins. I haven't actually worn this enough, but I will definitely get more wear out of it. It's definitely one I kind of forgot was in there, but I just loved it because it has this little pearl detail on the sleeve, which I love. Um, it just makes it look that little bit extra classy, and I don't have a lot of thin knits, so it's definitely a useful one to have. This thin knit is Primark. It's quite similar, but it's more of a brown than a beige, um, like a light brown camel colour. Um, it's already a little tatty because I have worn it a lot, even though I haven't owned it that long. Um, so it will definitely stay for now, but maybe we'll get replaced next season. It will definitely see me through the rest of the winter um, or spring as it's thin, but then I feel like it might need replacing. So it's going to stay for now. And then finally as this River Island jumper, the quality is so good and it's really really thick. I don't love it as much as I thought I did, but I still wear it a fair amount. Um, I get a lot of compliments on it, so I think I'm going to keep this one. Okay, moving on to the pinks. So the first one is this, which I love. It's this Mickey Mouse sweater. I just love feeling girly, but when I want to be cozy as well and lounge. And I love Disney, so it's all those things incorporated. So that is definitely staying. Next is this light pink Brandy Melville jumper. Now I have had this for years, so it's definitely seen better days, but I don't know. I do still love it. I wear it a lot because it's like a thinner pink knit. Um, it is very, very cool to wear, um, but it isn't in the best condition, for sure. 
and I don't really know if the colour is just that little bit pale for me. Like I feel like it kind of blends in with my skin. I used to love it. I don't know. This one's hard. This one's going in the maybe pile too. I've got to be ruthless. I've got to try and get rid of some, but I can't always commit without trying them on, I don't think. It's just going to be how it is. Okay, next is this sort of like salmon coloured um, jumper with this beautiful diamante detail. I have worn the hell out of this one too. It is a Primark knit and it's definitely seen better days as well. But I do wear this to work quite a lot, just with some trousers, so I feel like it's going to stay in my wardrobe for work, at least for the rest of the season, but then I might reconsider because it is very, very bobbled and it is losing its spark now. It's been worn so much. Okay, next is this crop soft pink jumper. I am so ashamed to say it's last the tag on and I bought it ages ago. Maybe like three, four years ago, I don't know. Um, but I think I bought it at a time where my weight gain had just sort of started about three years ago and I didn't really feel comfortable in a crop but I just loved the colour and the feel of the jumper. I'm starting to wear crop stuff a little bit more and this was sort of shoved at the back of my wardrobe so I feel like I will wear it but if I ever do one of these again um, you know, if people don't hate the way that I clear up my cupboard or something, um, then if the tag is still on it next time, I have to get rid. But for now, I'm going to keep it because I feel like it's more me now than when I bought it. Next is another pink crop jumper. I adore this. This is quite new from New Look. They do it in loads of different colours and I keep waiting for it to go in the sale because I kind of want them all. I really shouldn't, but I really would love to grab another colour or two. I think they're really nice. They're a really nice length crop, so if you're wearing high-waisted, there's no gap, but they just look really nice, and I love the sort of mock neck, so yeah, 100% staying this one, because it is one of my newest. And next is this pink and white stripey one. I don't have too many with, like, detail on, so I love to keep this one just because it is stripey. I love the colour. I bought this last year in Matalan, and it's quite a thin knit, so it's very, very useful for me to have. And then finally in my pink pile is this pink and purple jumper. I was obsessed with this when it came out and I really wanted it. Um, I don't know if I love it as much anymore but I still think it's really cute and it's very cosy so I'm going to keep this too. Okay and the last of my jumpers are more like miscellaneous. I kind of have my main black, whites, greys, browns and pinks, but the rest are just sort of other colours that have gone into my wardrobe that, you know, I don't buy as often. But I do like to have a pop of colour I can pick here and there, so I like to keep a few of these. Um, but let's see. I did have a look at these a little while ago and get rid of a couple of them and sell them on my Vinted. So there might not be too many to clear out, but we shall see. Okay, so the first one is this very, very thin knit. I don't even know if it really should be in my knitwear, like I feel like it should be more with my tops. Um, but I used to love this top, I used to wear it all the time when I was skinnier. It is a size 10, but it's quite snug, and I was definitely size like 8 to 10 when I used to wear it and feel comfortable. And I've kept hold of it because I adore it, it's got the pink, grey, black and white stripes. Um, and I used to always wear it with like my leather trousers again, I used to love it, but... Oh, this is really hard. Like, a part of me wants to try it on, but I really do need to get rid of more things. So, you know what? This, this has got to go. This has to go now. It's, it's been years since I've worn it. It's got to go. Okay, next is this purple and white knit, which is from New Look. It looks a lot more stripey in the camera, in the viewfinder, than in real life. It looks more of a, like, faded gradient in person. Um... I have worn this a lot so it's starting to look a little bit shabby but it's also really cosy and one I do reach for quite a lot when I just want something casual and warm to go out in so this one I think will stay. Okay this is the next one. I had a bit of an obsession with green, mainly sage green but green in general like in 2021. If you watch my hauls you probably would have seen that. Um, I don't reach for this enough because it's a really nice quality jumper. But I kind of want to keep it just so I have that other colour because I do really like green. I just don't wear it that much. But because I have a lot of like neutrals, I feel like I can still like wear it with things. So yeah, I'm going to keep this one for now. And if I don't wear it much for the rest of the season, I have to go let it go next season. Okay, this is the next one. It's a very, very thin knit from New Look. It is a little bit see-through, which is the only thing I hate about it. 
but it is super comfortable it fits really well and I do really like the pattern I love that it's pink white and black they're like my favorite colors so yeah I'm gonna keep this one again for now okay so next is the sage green turtleneck from in the style I have worn this to death and it is sort of showing you now and even the sleeve last time I wore it started to come apart um, which I'm really devastated about because it's so warm and I really really love this green so when I want to have that change in colour this was often my go to for the winter but it is really starting to tear and damage so I feel like this needs to go um, and obviously this is not something that I'm going to like resell or do anything with it, it needs to go it has sadly passed its time Okay, so the next thing I have is this beautiful sort of pinky purple and like pale green aerial sweater that I bought in the US. I need to wear this. I had it at the back of my wardrobe because I bought it when it was like warmer weather um, and then I sort of forgot about it but I absolutely adore this and it's so soft and cozy so this is 100% staying because it's Disney and it's cute and I got it in the US. Similarly, this stitch sweater needs to stay too. It is like my only blue thing and... I love Stitch and I love Disney and it's really cozy even if it's just Primark. Okay so this sweater is one of my favourites out of my more different jumpers. I definitely am more of a plain girl but this I fell in love with when I saw a photo of it and I had to have it. I think it was from the Lorna Lux range in, in the style. I adore this jumper so this is 100% not going anywhere. Okay, so next is my bright pink Emily in Paris sweater. Um, I don't know how closely you can see the picture in the camera from there, but um, it was kind of funny because she is literally wearing the In The Style jumper in this photo. So she wore the In The Style jumper in Emily in Paris. So that's what made me buy this because I just thought it was so funny that I have like what she's wearing in it. Um, I don't really wear this enough but I do love Emily in Paris and I feel like this is like my truly gimmicky item that I just want to keep. And then finally we have this rainbow jumper. <laughs> this really isn't my sort of style in general but the colours really caught my eye. Like I kept seeing them on the website and I really wanted one and it took ages to be able to get hold of it. I wanted the cardigan more than the jumper but it kept being out of stock. So I managed to get hold of the jumper. <laughs> I just don't really wear it. I think I wore it like in one of my vlogs because it was like when I just got it but I don't know. I really like it but it's not really me so I don't know with this one. I think this can join the try on pile as well. Okay so we have now sorted through all of my jumpers. I hope you can see why I made this a like separate video rather than my whole wardrobe or would we here forever. So I'll do like a little series um, over the next sort of like couple of months where we clean each section out um, but I hope you've enjoyed seeing the jumpers shall we see how many we got rid of one two three four five we've committed to five definitely going and then we have one two three, four, five, six maybes. We've got six maybes, so potentially 11 that I'm getting rid of, which I feel quite good. Obviously, I have got a few in the wash that aren't in this video um, because not all my clothes can be clean at once. Um, but obviously, I figured if they're in the wash, I wear them, so they'll be staying. Um, let's try on the other clothes and see what decision I come to. Okay, so please excuse that obviously these jumpers aren't all going to match my uh, lovely loungewear trousers. Um, but this is the mustard one on. I went for this first because I feel like I am likely to keep this because it's so soft. I like that it's like a golden sort of mustard. It's not like a yellow. Um, I feel like I'm not a huge fan of yellow, but I don't feel like this is. I feel like it's more brown, browny kind of colour. Um, and it's just so soft and cosy. So, I don't know. I know I need to get rid of things, but it's so hard. But I think I'm going to keep this. Okay, so this is the um, Primark one where I managed to get a hole in. 
I'm so gutted about this because I love this jumper. I have not worn it nearly enough times that it deserves and overall it feels really really good quality for Primark but the hole is so noticeable. Like I can see it because it's right on my boob. It's just so obvious so I think I've just got to be harsh and get rid of this but hey I can always keep an eye out for like a new jumper with like some nice detail here that's white right like I can just look at it as an opportunity to like look for something new if I see it or have room for something new if I see it yeah I think we're gonna have to do that <laughs> okay so this is the next one I'm a little bit gutted about this because it's definitely it's still like a really me style like I adore this but it's definitely too tight around my bust. It's funny because like since I've lost weight, my bust has just not. Like when I gained weight, my bust grew and I managed to lose another, like I managed to lose a stone since I put on weight, but my boobs have not changed at all. And that's why most things are just so tight. Like this is size 10, but it is just too small. So I think it's time that I say goodbye. Okay, so this is the really cute flamingo top. I think I have to keep it. It just means so much to me because of how long I tried to get it when I was younger and like save up for it. So I feel like it has to stay because it still fits quite well. Um, but if I don't really wear it, then maybe next time. Okay, so this is the Brandy Melville jumper. I wear this so much, so I feel really sad the thought of getting rid of it. But the neckline, I'm not a huge fan of. Like that's definitely my criticism with the jumper. And also it's quite see-through. It never really bothered me too much because as long as I wear like a nude bra. Um, today I've got white and I still think that looks okay. Um, it was always okay but I do feel like it's really well made and it still has life in it but there is a couple of snags. So I don't know whether to pop it on my vintage really cheap or just give it to charity. I'm kind of undecided on this one. Um, if any of you want it that happen to come across this video um, I would say it's more of a size, it's like a, because it's meant to be a bit loose, I'd say size 10, because it's just one size, Brandy Melville, um, if you don't know the brand, um, that everything in their shop is just one size, it's very strange. I've had it since I was a size 8, I would say it's a size 10, I'm a t more of a 12 now. It fits, because it's done, but like it's a little bit tight in places, so yeah. If you're interested, let me know. Um, if not, you might see it on my Vinted or you might not. I will leave my Vinted listed below, so if you've liked any of these items, they might appear on there. Um, if there's anything you like in particular, please feel free to leave a comment and I will contact you and we can sort it out. Like, you can definitely have it if you have Vinted. I'll, like, reserve it for you for your username or something. I am quite happy to do that. Um, I always sell things what I think is really reasonable on Vinted, by the way, so... It won't be like rip off prices or anything. I always compare to what else is on there and slightly go below. Okay, and final one. Um, this one's really hard because I love the fit of it. So I think I'm gonna keep it. I know I should have got rid of more, but I, I feel like I've done okay. Um, I just feel like this is great for certain occasions or like, you know, if there is something that you're meant to be colorful to, like this just is such a pop of color because of all the mix and like I really love it it's just not very me style wise but I just think it's really pretty like it makes my eyes smile <laughs> when I see it I don't know um but yeah I feel like I've done okay so let's do the final check so we have two jumpers which I am not really gonna resell I feel like these probably need to go to like recycling um, because they're a little bit damaged and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six that are gonna go and like go to a new home, whether that be through a charity or my vintage. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. Like, I still need to probably cut my collection down a little bit, but. I definitely wouldn't have got rid of half of this stuff if I wasn't doing it, I don't feel like, on camera. I feel like if I'd have briefly looked through it, I'd have been like, oh, but I love this one so much, and oh, but what if I need a glittery one for an occasion? But I just need to think I can buy new ones that fit me properly, and, like, if I need them. But I don't feel like this is something I have to have permanently in my wardrobe. If I need one, I'll get a new one, and then obviously it'll stay. But, yeah. 
I need to save space. So this is the jumpers and you can see hopefully why I have split all the videos up now and um, I will see you next time for the next bit of the clear out. I'm not sure what order I'm going to do it in yet but um, I hope you enjoy doing this with me. I love watching people clear out their clothes so we will uh, hopefully get on well and get me some more space. <laughs>